hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here it's lovely to have you but if you're old hey boo it's nice to have you back in today's recipe we're gonna make this delicious grilled chicken I already have a recipe on grilled chicken oven grilled chicken in my videos you can take a look but this is a totally different recipe you can have this grilled chicken with some jollof rice with some Ghana fried rice you can have it with potato wedges you can have it with um, fried yam chips anything at all you please or you can have it with just some wine or over a drink so let's get right into this delicious recipe first we're gonna blend all of our ingredients that we're gonna use to marinate this recipe so in that in my blender I have some ginger I have some garlic and then I have some yellow scotch bonnet also, I added some thyme and Magistar Cube Adobo. I'm going to list all the ingredients in the description box below. So please take a look at it and then get yours accordingly. Okay. All right. So we're adding a little bit of water to help blend the mixture together very well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so now as we blend our mixture away right. <laughs> just click on the subscribe button and join this wonderful family now our mixture is halfway done we're gonna add some olive oil a little bit of olive oil and then blend again this is a very easy recipe you can just put it together and throw it into your oven and go ahead and cook all other things that you have to do very easy to put together and it comes out very delicious and crispy just like fried chicken sort of you don't always have to eat fried chicken you have to try grilled chicken as well so there are other recipes on my channel i encourage you guys to check them out as well now our mixture is done i have some chicken drumsticks which i have cleaned and dried very well with a kitchen towel Next, I'm pouring my mixture on it, and then I'm going to add some salt to taste, and I'm going to leave this to sit in the fridge overnight. If you don't have that much time or you don't have overnight, you should marinate it at least for 30 minutes before grilling it, or before baking or putting it in your oven. So we mix everything together, and we're gonna cover it with a cling film and set it into our fridge overnight. If there are any recipes you guys would want me to upload as soon as possible please leave them in the comment section below and I'm going to upload them soon I'm going to film them and upload them soon for you guys okay also if there are any questions there's any suggestions there's any comments that you guys would like to make please leave them in the comment section below I'll be pleased to read them and answer all of them now the next day our chicken is ready we have a bacon dish over here which I have added a little bit of olive oil so I'm gonna just brush it through it and then I'm going to lay all of my chicken in there at this point my oven is heating it's preheating and ready to take in the chicken to bake so make sure before your chicken goes into the oven it's nicely heated This marinade looks very different from the first um, grilled chicken recipe I uploaded. So you guys just check them out. Make both of them and let me know which one was your favorite. I love both of them. I can't seem to choose between both, but I really love both of them. They're both delicious and very different in taste. You will love it. And for dinner, I'm making this with some jollof rice. And then I have the jollof rice recipe. I have two jollof rice videos as of now but if you're watching this in the future there may be more so there are jollof rice recipes on this channel you can check them out as well and make some delicious jollof rice I'm going to leave all the links in the description box below for the jollof rice recipes you can check them out if you have some more time check out all the other recipes and make them it's gonna make your home a very enjoyable one good food brings good people and happy people together now I'm squeezing half a lemon on the chicken yes I decided to add lemon 
I love, love, love lemon, lemon desserts, lemon color, lemon flavor, everything lemon. So about 30 minutes into our baking time and part of my chicken is done. So I have to turn it for the other side to bake as well. And about 70 minutes or about 65 minutes later, here we are. Our baked chicken is ready and it's looking delicious and it's looking gorgeous. Look at this. It is fully cooked and delicious slightly juicy inside very very delicious and it's quite crispy on the outside as well so yeah our chicken is ready now we're gonna plate it and get ready to have dinner so this is one way that i plate my chicken i usually like to plate my chicken on white surfaces like get colors that contradict with the um the meal so this way it stands out so i have green and white and then i'm just placing the the chicken on it so it looks nice like it's standing out you know it's not blending in to the colors it's just standing out on its own and it looks amazing when you place this on your table it's going to look very beautiful and inviting you know one way to enjoy your meal is also to plate it really nicely look how delicious and just look how gorgeous the chicken looks i mean it came out so good brushed in with flavors delicious tasty yummy give this recipe a try please give it a try and when you do so let me know in the comment section below how it goes or how it went let me know if you, you liked it or not let me know what you loved about it let me know what you would like to change about it let me know anything that you want me to know okay now look just look at that fully cooked in the meantime guys if you haven't subscribed please do so now before leaving this page and there are so many other recipes you can check out on this channel and don't forget to click the subscribe button as you check them out and also thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share until the next time don't forget to be loving be caring always remember to mask up before you go out and don't forget to wash your hands regularly with soap and running water see you